As you know, we're here to celebrate uh, the retirement, I hate to say the word, but the retirement of Joanne after so many years of service. It's just amazing to me that we're at this point, but we are. After her husband passed away, a few years later, she came to work at the Animal Valley Superior Court. She's been my boss, my supervisor, my mentor, my friend, and I love her like she's my second mom. I am. <laughs> See the effect don't, I have? Don't make fun. <laughs> <laughs> We've shared our lives together and worked together as a team for many years. She's taught me her patience, wisdom, and knowledge, and her positive attitude at work and in life itself. I will miss her bumping into my chair in the office, her wonderful smile, and her silly antics. I've been blessed to work with her. And the very first time I met Joanne, how much uh, she impressed me as a person that had some I would say tremendous people skills. That's what it takes to uh, work in your services, and I think that she had that in spades. And I think when all is said and done, um, she has been for many of us, not just myself, but many, many of us in your services, an excellent inspiration in terms of how to treat people when it comes to the work that we do. That is what it is all about, correct, Joel? That's right. So um, I just needed to tell you, I would never have missed this for the entire world. Thank you. I am so happy for you. I'm sad for us because we're going to lose one of our greatest, greatest people. And the other part to say is that um, I will continue, like I always have, to talk about you in wonderful and excellent ways because you have been a very fine inspiration to us all. Thank, Thank you so much. Um, I usually, after every trial, uh, get written jury questionnaire returns where they give me their uh, comments and some of them are positive, some of them are negative. But I could probably make a full notebook for you, Joanne, of the jurors that have gone out of their way to say how what a wonderful experience you made down here in the jury assembly room. Not just in writing, but even in my trials I get jurors that comment all the time. And I know I'm really going to miss you. Wow. <laughs> You've been around as long, I mean, you've done a great job, and I know all the other judges here that do trials really appreciate your hard work. So on behalf of everyone, it's my privilege. This is a very, very special scroll. It is gorgeous. I think you should frame it. They really went out of their way. Um, you probably can't see it, but there's just extra gold everywhere. In between your name, the J and the uh, G from the Award the Supervisors. In recognition of dedicated service to the affairs of the community and for the civic pride demonstrated by numerous contributions for the benefit of all the citizens of Los Angeles County. Congratulations, Joanne. I know I'm going to miss you. You're an amazing role model. Your enthusiasm and your love for life has been infectious. And everybody that meets you, whether they're a co-worker of yours or a juror that comes in here, feels the love. Appreciate all you've done for us throughout the years. So, now I'm going to read the scroll. I got a little cheat sheet because I'm the one that's really old. So, <laughs> so I'm not going to read all this because there's a lot of whereas's on here and all that. Right? So, but basically, it's a beautiful scroll from the Superior Court from Graphic Arts. And there it is. Many of you have seen it before. And it's presented uh, by the Superior Court, of course, uh, for retirement, Joanne Greenleaf. And whereas Ms. Greenleaf has overwhelmingly earned the respect and admiration of her peers, management, judicial officers, and subordinate staff for her insight, dedication, professionalism, and knowledge. And here you go. Here's another one to your, to your list. Thank you so much. And signed by John Clark. Yes, thank you. considered being a bench officer at one point, I was asked who I thought would be a role model, who would I like to emulate, and you can see what's coming. There were only a couple of judges at that time that I could point to, and one at the top of the list was in terms of 
uh, judicial temperament, bearing, demeanor, knowledge, ability, was Frank Jackson. So the fact that he is still serving the community as an appellate justice and is still willing to attend community events and be so involved in the community is something we should all be grateful for. And I know there's a special bond with Frank and Joanne. So Frank, if you'd come on up and on behalf of all the judges, Joanne wanted me to say that uh, she issued Frank's marriage license and it's still working. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. In spite of the nice words, Tom, I still may reverse my appeal, but that's all right. <laughs> Let's hope it's uh, unpublished opinion. <laughs> but it is my pleasure to be back here. It's actually been hard to believe but almost five years since I worked full-time in Lancaster, and if I would have known today that I was going to give Joanne a plaque, I you know I would have dressed up in the so, <laughs> One nice thing about the Court of Appeal, we're only on the bench two days a month, so this is actually work clothes for me, so life is good, life is good. I have known Joanne 42 and a half years ago, I'm a little older than Chris, but I was in college in Reno, but shortly after that, I started practicing law in Lancaster and became good friends with Joanne. And it is true that as a wedding gift, 34 years ago, Joanne and Jeannie purchased my right. marriage license. So they, I'm not sure you would pay for it now because I understand it's a lot more expensive 34 years later. But, but so Joanne and I go way back and it's my privilege to be here on your special day. A lot of people have said that uh, jury experience isn't all that exciting. As a judge, I would agree it's not all that exciting. Uh, dealing with jurors, I actually was talking with a friend today who's retired in Ohio, used to live in Lancaster, and I told him I was coming to a luncheon for Joanne Greenlee on her retirement and she was the jury coordinator, and he had nothing but praise to wow. say about Joanne. So, greetings come all the way from Ohio wow. today. So, from your, you would have no idea how many people you've touched in the 42 years you've worked for the court. So, it's, it's my extreme pleasure to be here, and I wouldn't miss it. So, so all right. Superior Court of California, County of Los Angeles, North District Judicial Officers, Acknowledgement of Appreciation, Joanne Greenlee, presented in recognition of your years of excellent and dedicated service from March 1969 to June 2011 at the Joanne Greenlee Courthouse, no, the Michael D. Michael D. Antonovich Animal Valley Courthouse. Well deserved honor. Enjoy your retirement. Do you want us to sing? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Well, Joanne and I, many years ago, it's funny you should mention that, because Joanne and I, many years ago, we had the opportunity in, on a Christmas party for the Legal Secretaries Association, we were called up there to do a little skit. And so at the end of the skit, and this is perfect for Joanne, because you all know she loves life, here you go. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you. Tomorrow, you're only a day away. Would you like to say a few words? Would you like to say? No. You're all so fantastic. It's been such a pleasure working with all of you. That I'm going to really miss you, but I hope I see you around on some of my gambling trips. 